Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Woo! Woohoo! Every time I am so excited when we get to step into the lab because we are going to be mixing and matching all sorts of animal genetics to create creatures that have never before been seen by science! <laughs> oh, so I hope you guys are ready to put on your lab coats and your safety goggles because we are going to be diving deep into the genes today to mix and match a panda, a fluffy, fluffy panda, who is one of my favorite things to actually bring into the lab because just look at this floofers. Look at this one. Look at this fluff ball. I love pandas. They're so ridiculous. I don't know how many of you have ever had the opportunity to see a panda in person, but they pretty much eat all day. And when they're not eating, they're tending to like roll and fall over. They are the least graceful creatures that I have ever seen in my life. Like a giraffe, a giraffe is extremely graceful. I can definitely step back and clap and be like, ah, oh, you gorgeous, gorgeous creature watching a giraffe move through a savanna land. But just watching a panda as it sits there eating bamboo and somehow manages to tumble over onto its side and get stuck on its back, they're just they're ridiculous. They're ridiculous. They're amazing. They crack me up and they are also quite endangered. However, they are a rallying point for us to really care about taking care of the wild species in the wild world around us. So uh, I've always had a soft spot for pandas, if not for their silly derpiness, because they really help us to appreciate the natural world and come together to try to do what we can to protect it. So I hope you guys are ready to do your good deed as pixel biologists today getting rid of maybe having like a meatless Monday meal or being able to get rid of some of the plastic bags that uh, like you can swap out for reusable bags and all of that in the name of the glorious panda and the world that we share. So now that I have been inspired to speak of eco-friendly future lifestyles with all of you because of this adorable face, let me go ahead and introduce you guys to Periwinkle! Periwinkle the panda! So Periwinkle here is one of the pandas that we have brought in from our Planet Zoo adventures to go ahead and try a new experiment. And fun fact, Periwinkle was actually in here so that we could go ahead and take some of her genes to combine with a red panda or a fox. However, just as we were getting her settled in, giving her some bamboo, making sure there was nothing that she could trip over or, you know, roll on top of or off of or get herself stuck on, <laughs> we uh, turned around and just as I was getting ready to actually work on, you know, bringing a fox in here, which we will definitely do in the near future, this happened. This happened! A little Shetland sheepdog showed up! And look at how freaking cute it is! I couldn't resist. I could not resist. I mean, look at this fluffy face. Look at that, like, just intelligence in those eyes. Look at that little wagging tail. Look at the colors! It was love at first sight. For me, at least, and you know, the experiment that we're hosting here. And I decided that we're gonna go ahead and try mixing together the genes from a Shetland sheepdog and a great panda today. And I'm hoping and crossing my fingers for extra floofy fluff. That is going to be our goal, getting like the floofiest and fluffiest reaction that we possibly could from mixing these genes together. I am extremely excited about that. Uh, and I'm really hopeful that we might get, I don't know, like I like the panda coloration, maybe a small panda, or maybe like this cool coloration that Colin, the Shetland Sheepdog who we have here, one of the uh, animals that one of you guys brought in since you are my laboratory assistants. And if you happen to have a Shetland Sheepdog or a Sheepdog of some type, definitely let me know in the comments because reading your stories about your animals is one of the most heartwarming experiences of doing this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, mix his genes in and we're gonna see what happens. I actually don't really have anything that I am super looking forward to on this other than floof. I am hoping for max floofitude. So let's go ahead and do this. You guys ready? All right, so let me pull up the name list and just make sure that we have got something fun. Good, good, good. All right. 
And as, oh, hello, little wide. And as usual, you guys, if you want to end up becoming one of our wonderful creations in the laboratory, all you need to do is go ahead and leave comments down below and the random comments generator may pick you for a future, uh, future creation here in our lab. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do this. Periwinkle, Colin, let me see what you got. Okay, normal looking so far. Let's keep her cool, you know, act calm. This is fine. Gotta take some deep breaths. I'm sure that little Penny here is going to grow up into a absolutely adorable puppers. Fingers crossed, very hopeful. All right, Penny, you cannot produce wool. That is not something that a panda does, alas. Uh, I mean, can you guys imagine <laughs> what would panda will even feel like? I guess, like I've touched bear fur before and it's actually a lot more coarse than you would expect, especially if you touch like polar bear fur. Um, I wonder how different polar bear, black bear, grizzly bear, and panda bear fur are from one another. And then the sun bear, like they're actually, and a sun bear and Andean bear are actually really, really long furred. Heck, I have a new life goal. I want to touch all of the different types of fur that the bear species have, and I want to compare the composition between them. I had no idea that that was going to be something I was going to aspire to, but I'm going to look forward to doing that. Uh, though whenever I touch, I don't know how I would touch a panda. Uh, I could try feeding one? Huh, I'm going to have to look into that. All right, you guys. I hope that, uh, and don't worry, I'm not just going to walk up to a grizzly bear. There's like all sorts of pelt samples that are in museums. Don't walk, okay. Moral of the story is I got majorly distracted here because we cannot produce wool penny. <laughs> or milk or wool again. <laughs> Or milk again. There we go. And moral of the story is don't go touching random grizzly bears. I had a random thought and the next thing I knew, I was like, oh wait, am I telling everyone to go pet grizzly bears? So no touching grizzly bears in the wild, please. Or in captivity. Or in any capacity, really. <laughs> Moving on. All right, Penny, you are going to be hairy, vocal, and a sleuth, and I hope you are as floofy as we are hoping for. Come along. Moving on now. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, look at that little panda patterning. All right, and we're going to have... <gasps> little Ember! Welcome, Ember! Heck. You also can't produce wool. We're not going down that tangent again. Uh, and you're going to be playful, hairy, and active, which is freaking adorable. There we are. I like the, the coloration so far, but I really am hoping for a panda coloration. So, fingers crossed. Now we've got... <gasps> panda! Yes! Dama, welcome! Welcome, Dama! Also, I do think that a wolf and a bulldog mix would be great. Do I have that down here somewhere? If not, I'm gonna add that in. Wolf and bulldog. A fantastic suggestion idea. Uh, and you, my friend, are going to be jumpy, stubborn, and loyal, which sounds freaking adorable. Also, little floppy ears. <gasps> Look at the little flop on those ears! Oh, I just want to play with those little ears. They're so freaking cute. Is that from... Yes! That is actually from the Shetland Sheepdog. I don't think we ended up with floofy ears on either Penny or Ember. So we'll have to see if that indicates something that we can expect out of Tama. All right, let's get the next baby coming on in. Heckin', I love panda crossbreeds. If y'all need... Oh, you're so cute! Oh, Adriana, welcome, welcome. If y'all need some uh some more pandas if you have some suggestions for more panda mixes do let me know because i really like the look of them adriana you can't produce milk but you can be a glutton who no doubt eats a lot of bamboo who is loyal and very playful i love the face i have high hopes that because of the wide jaw structure we have here and the floopy ears we're gonna get a great mix between the panda and the sheepdog all right fingers and paws crossed let me pull up the next name and now we are going to go ahead and have Winter! Welcome, Winter! And heck, a lot of people have been asking for a griffin and a wolf lately, so we might have to look into that for sure. All right, let's see. You can't produce milk, Winter, or wool. Or wool! What is this? Is this just like some joke because I talked about wanting to see what panda wool would be like? The heck? All right. So, Winter, you can be stubborn, but loyal, and very hairy. 
I cannot believe we've ended up with so many mixes that just center around fur and wool and hair. That is so funny. All right, Periwinkle, let's go ahead and give you a little bit more bamboo. Take those genetic samples one last time. Oh, that was so cute. Are we gonna get up like one more panda? One more panda, please, please, please. Please, please, please. Oh, no panda, but you're adorable anyway. To Ellie. Ellie, welcome on in. I hope you're having a better week. I know that you had a rough one last week or like earlier this week. The days blur together. And you, my friend, are going to come on in as another hairy, very friendly, independent little addition to our sheepdog and panda crossbreeds. So we only ended up with one panda and Tama, but I kind of love the coloration on everybody else. So let's do this. Penny, you're up first. Oh, oh my gosh, you're so cute! <laughs> penny, you're so small, like a little penny! What the heck? What? How did we get a panda out of, like, a panda and a, a sheepdog out of this mix? Look at this! Look at her little ears! Look at her little face! Look at that smile! Look at her muscle! Look at her cute little tail! I have no idea how this is from a panda whatsoever, but I love you, Penny. You're, you're freaking adorable. This is, like, future like farm dog extraordinaire i love you this is as much as i love toby when we added toby into my sims 4 challenge like this is amazing um i adore this okay very happy here uh let's go ahead and we're gonna see what ember turns into clearly penny has set the bar of like nothing to do with the floofiness we were going for but i'm very happy anyway ember you're up next Oh my gosh, Ember, I love you. You look like a little cartoon character. Yes, this is what we need friends to be able to add something in quite fun and exciting to our championship round that we have in our Sims 4, uh, you know, episodes of our Labarkatory challenge every month now. Very glad that you guys like that. Let me know who you would vote for. Look at his face, he's so fluffy. Well, the rest of him is so small, especially his paws. Let me know who you would vote for out of this roundup. I have high hopes. All right, Tama, you're up next. <laughs> fluffy! Tama, you are fluffy. You've got a little bit of a shorter muzzle and those teensy little floppy ears. Let's see, compare between the panda. Yeah, you definitely shrunk, but you still are super fluffy. And you have the panda coloring and the panda fur. So very happy to actually end, it, end up with like one that somewhat harkens back to the panda heritage. I think Ember is really my surprise out of them all so far. But Adriana here has that strong jaw that really represents the facial structure of what the pandas had to offer. But the floopy little sheepdog ears. Let's do this. Adriana. You are my dreams come true! <laughs> <laughs> Max Floof! Max Floof! Even her tail is floofy! Everything about you is the absolute floofiest. We cannot go wrong with mixing your genes with anything in order to end up with something unexpected and amazing. You guys, we've done it! Max Floofitude achieved between a panda and a sheepdog. I wonder what the heck would happen if we mixed Adriana with a poodle at this point. This is amazing. This is fantastic, and I love this. All right, Adriana, I bow to you. Winter, you're up next. Oh, 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 oh. Winter, you're so cute too. I just love Winter and Ember's looks. Like, look at them, you guys. They're really, really, really cute. Oh, I love them so much. You're going to be seeing these ones up in our Sims 4 Legacies for sure. I just cannot resist. Oh my word. I mean, look at them. Oh my, oh my gosh. All right. All right. That's how you can make like puppies that melt hearts. Noted. And then finally we have Ellie. Ellie, let's go ahead and grow you up and see what you're going to become. A Pomeranian. <laughs> So when you mix a panda and a sheepdog together, you end up with a Pomeranian, friends. Good to know. 
<laughs> but alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I have definitely found several new adorable additions to a future Sims family. And of course, new additions to potential future cross period championships. Let me know who you would vote for your championship down below. Or your champion for the championships down below. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.